Two cancer survivors are on a mission to give socks to children with cancer. The socks are custom made in hopes of making children smile. They stopped by UMass Memorial Children's Medical Center today. Our Valerie Bell has more. <laughs> children battling cancer don't have an easy journey. Jake Teitelbaum knows firsthand. He is a pediatric cancer survivor. He remembers being cold and uncomfortable. It really stood out to me that every time you're admitted, you're given your tacky gown and your beige non-slip socks. Lexi Corian had a similar experience when she battled um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you spend any amount of time in the hospital, um, everything's really scary. Three years ago, Jake founded Resilience Gives, and Lexi hopped on board. Now they're on a national toe-to-toe -to -toe tour. For every pair of socks they sell, they give a pair to a child fighting cancer. Some for you too. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's special to go in to a room and interact with a parent who can look across the room and see a young adult survivor and say, hey, my kid can get there, right? There's light at the end of the tunnel. The socks are soft, mix-matched, and have the non-slip grip on the bottom. Each pair comes with a picture of the child who designed the sock. All of our designs are from children who have been battling cancer, so they each have a little story associated with the animal that they picked. So. Naaman helped us with those ones and he spent a lot of time in the hospital. Yeah, that's yeah. Naaman. To know that someone else stood in those socks and created something from their experience that is now positively impacting others. Lexi and Jake have handed out more than 3,000 pairs of socks and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Their sock drop at UMass Memorial Children's Medical Center is just one stop on their journey of setting up pop-up stores around the country. It really restores your faith in humanity to see so many people wanting to contribute to your mission and contribute to such a great cause. And a nice pair of socks goes a long way, literally. Next, they will be traveling to Delaware and North Carolina, where they will sell their socks at hospitals in that area and give them to those children. Reporting in the studio, Valerie Bell, Worcester News Tonight.